I see my hair and I might see my teeth. So, so I'll be doing the life in see my heaven book thing. Oh wait, no, it's called the imaginary world of Seema. And I noticed we haven't looked at the back yet. And it shows this upside down houses here. And just some book barcode. And it says, what kind of world would you like to inhabit at? And uh, basically, yeah. So now let's go to the page we left off. Additional tools for world creation. The ability to fan fantasize is the ability to, to survive. It's wonderful to speak about this subject because they are, I mean, because they have been so many wrong-headed people dealing with it. The so-called realists are trying to drive us insane, and I refuse to be driven insane. We survive by fantasizing, I mean fantasizing, Take that way from us and the whole damned human race goes down the drain. I don't really know what this is telling me to do. But additional tools? Yeah, okay. Additional tools. So additional tools. I'm not sure, but it's probably shaggy. Yeah. Clouds. And seals, of course. Um, oh yeah, and seal angels. Don't forget the wings. And yeah. Now let's go to the next page. Brainstorming methods. Brainstorming, oh, oh this is long. Brainstorming or mind mapping are very helpful when it comes to the world. Creation is the secret to capture ideas quickly and get done as many of them as you can. The reason speak is helpful is that it doesn't, it doesn't give your inner critic time to second guess things. Quantity is important because among the many ideas, there will be a few that stand out of you. These are the ones that you must follow. One way to do this is to use spider charts which connect Ideas around a central subject. Your central subject in this case would be your imaginary world. Put the name if you have one in the center of the page. You would then add some subjects. These will be branches coming off the center subject. These could be climate, wildlife structures, organizations, inhabitants, illiter, philosophy, transportation, history, devices, etc. You will then branch out your each topic, branch out on each topic, and even link topics if desired. If you prefer visual notes, you can add small simple illustrations and color to your chat. Think about what problems you, we, are in currently are currently facing in the real world. What will make them better? How will you incorporate playfulness? Central subject, subtopics, subtopic, whatever. Tips for brainstorming Withhold judgment. Do not censor your ideas. Write down the first things that come to your mind, even if you think they're not good. Quantity over quality. Write as many as you can. You can always scratch stuff out later. What would blank do? Insert, insert your favorite author, filmmaker, illustrator, designer, teacher, etc. Go crazy. Push yourself to places you've never been before. This is where interesting stuff is. Are you dreaming of flying vessels and underground tunnels? Add them. Build on the ideas of others. Use concepts from your favorite books or movies. After them slightly, change the scale, make them bigger, make them smaller, change the colors, change the names. If you get stuck, take a break. Go do something else for a time and come back to it. Randomizing function. Uh, you know what? This is a bunch of reading, and I think we should do this in the next video. So we'll see you see next um next weekend, I guess, for another video of this book. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So we'll see you tomorrow on the next video. Bye bye.